honestly, now that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh, man, I love it. What's going on, Alfonso Nation? Alfonso Peterman, the home dog is here today. Welcome to another episode of my Teletran unboxing series. That's right, baby. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the infamous Shockwave Siege Warfare Cybertron that I have been waiting to unbox for a long periodically time. A long periodically time. I really, really think this is going to look really good out of the box because in the box, it looks so great. And I mean, I can just tell from... I can just tell from the like the like the paint job and just from looking at it from here, I, I know it's gonna be a great unboxing. But before we get into the unboxing, I gotta get into the shout out. That's right, I told you guys on Instagram to guess who this is, and uh, I basically gave the hint and I said unmatched genius. That's right, because he is one of the most genius, one of the most logical, critical thinkers, scientists in the Decepticon rank. Without Shockwave, a lot of things would not have happened. Uh, so I gave the hint on Matt Genius, and the winner of this guessing game goes to Martimus underscore Prime on Instagram. Congratulations, and great job with fast guessing. He did indeed say Leader Shockwave, and that is who we're gonna be unboxing, guys. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at Leader Class Shockwave, baby. I've actually had this guy for quite some time now and I haven't unboxed him yet, so I said, you know what, it's time. It's time to pull him off the shelf from my other room and actually do this freaking unboxing. It's actually time. So here we go. This is the first Siege Leader class that I'm gonna be unboxing on my channel. Super cool. I'm super excited. So on the side, you have Shockwave presented. You got that beautiful art right there. I love that. I wish that they were like, you know, like iPhone wallpapers. <laughs> I would have them all saved. It looks so cool. Um, there he is in all of the different modes that you can have him in. He has the uh, the combat mode, the standard mode, and he has his alternative mode. And of course it recommends Ultra Magnus. And of course you have the Siege art on this side. And on this side is where he is showcased, the big boy. Back in the game, Shockwave. He's actually already in his combat mode in the packaging, so that's what I'm gonna be going over in the video. Personally, if I were to ever keep this guy, which we're gonna de determine that later, but if I were to ever keep him, I would have him in the standard mode, not really the combat mode. I think the combat mode is just too busy, too much stuff going on. I, I, I don't think it makes him look better. I think it makes him look like he's just too bulky, too cluttered. That's just my opinion. I mean, of course, there's a reason for it. He has a combat mode for, for battle. So, we're gonna open the box, take a look at it, and uh, I can't wait. There's just two pieces of tape for each War for Cybertron, so we're just gonna one, two. We're gonna two-piece them real quick. All right, Shockwave, rise and reveal yourself. Whoa! Okay! 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 Alright, you know what? For some reason, it is exactly what I thought. It is ex much better. Wow! That paint job is amazing. I gotta get him out. I really have to, like, I have to check the articulation and Shady's loving it. Like, oh boy. Let's do this. Surprisingly, these little, uh, the little rubber things that keep them attached to the plastic is a lot easier to, to break than the half, than the Studio Series. I don't know why. Like, that's super easy. I wish they were all like that. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Check out how intimidating, how savage he looks. That looks absolutely spectacular, guys. Check him out. I, I, wow, and the back is not bad at all. Look at that back. I love the back of the legs, nice and detailed. The back pad is more flat and more flush. And then there's these panels that extend down. This might not be fully transformed knowing, knowing these guys. Oh, so this, this comes off. All right, so this comes off. <laughs> I just, I was trying to move it up, but it came completely off. But actually without it, it looks a lot better. I love how it looks without it. It's a very small little uh, box-like backpack, very compact and flush into his design. I love it. I'm actually 
I'm, I mean, I'm just gonna be honest. Because this looks so good and I'm considering keeping it, I'm gonna probably remove all of the battle stuff from him. I, I gotta get all the battle stuff off of him because... And to do that, you just basically pull it off. It's, it's not like... It's not a, you know, rocket science type thing. I gotta... I, I just have to because, you know... <laughs> honestly, now that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby! Oh, man, I love it. That, you see, I just felt like all these pieces were just too much. That's what I'm talking about. That's the shockwave that I want to see. Wow, let me brighten that up a little bit. The other way, perfect. Let me, wow, 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 wow. Oh, even got the cable to connect to his cannon. I, oh, the, the feet look better. They don't look too cluttered, too much busyness going on. It's just my personal preference. I like I like this version better, man. You got that classic, huge, uh, box-like chest design and that classic head sculpt. Look how gorgeous he looks. And a lot of great light piping on the eyes. I can block the light. You can see it's almost like he's blinking. <laughs> great light piping. There's a translucent plastic right at the top. So any light that comes from the top will uh, shine through his eyes and you will be able to see Shockwave. I, I love this figure. I love this figure. Oh my god, I love this figure. And he is very sturdy. Very sturdy. Of course, it's probably because uh, he has to hold all of these compartments, which is not really that heavy. All this stuff is not heavy. It's just little plastic pieces to attach to his design to make him look better. Um, but man, <laughs> I, you know, this is more like a Voyager class figure that just has leader class parts. It's not really like a leader class figure that you can't downsize. And I think that's, that's a pro for this figure. It's not just like a leader figure that you can't do anything with. It, it reminds me of the power of the Prime's Optimus. You know, he has the uh, little Orion packs, but it attaches to the larger, like the larger pieces, which makes him Optimus Prime. It's kind of like this. It's like it's got the normal small shockwave that's pretty much a Voyager class size. You attach all the extra pieces. You got a big savage shockwave battle ready Decepticon. I admire this. I knew it would be a nice figure from looking at the packaging. Just because, you know, I mean, looking at the paint job and the detail from the packaging, I already knew it would be fantastic, but seeing it like in person and taking it out and seeing how sturdy, look at the articulation, look at this, watch this. That is some, that is some tough articulation. And I like that because he can hold a pose with no problem. Oh yes! <laughs> I was hoping he would have waist articulation. I think that should come with every figure. Look at that. Waist articulation for days, baby. You can actually just spin him around. <laughs> That's a. I love it. I love it. I actually love it. The arms, you know, I mean, you know, it bends at the elbow. I mean, it, it, it comes out. I mean, just whatever you want to do. Articulation is spectacular. Even like the basic, like the basic parts, like the areas where there's not much uh, detail, which is like a flat surface. You got little etchings, little like engravings in there, little tiny little details that make a huge difference. And I love how the chest piece has this like clear plastic on it, so it's almost see-through. Look at, take a look at his weapon. You got pegs here if you want to add anything additional to it. You actually, if you want to, you can add whatever weapon you want. I mean, it, it's probably the standard peg size. And then I love the classic Decepticon logo on both of his forearms. Oh my god. Paint job. Articulation, detail, scale is unmatched. I haven't really unboxed any other Shockwave figure before, but I know this one is amazing. That's all I know. I know, I mean, I can't say it's the best one because I haven't really unboxed any other ones, but I know this one is all the jam. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna, before I even get to the background, I'm gonna just say it. Shockwave, Siege, Leader Glass. It's a 10 out of 10. I, I, I just, <laughs> I'm like literally losing it because I didn't realize, like I didn't think it would be this amazing. When I saw this, I knew this was the, like the, the, uh, the mode I wanted to put him in. I just felt like the, like the combat mode was like a little bit too much. It's great for battle, for stop motions, for, uh, for display. 
I'm not saying it's terrible. The combat mode looks absolutely awesome. It makes him look more robust and more fight, like, you know, more, uh, I'm trying to find a better word than what I want to use. Um, more robust and more savage uh, on the battlefield, you know? I would be more intimidated by this kind of shockwave versus that little guy. But I'm just, me personally, I, this is the shockwave that I, I, I remember and that I love and that I just absolutely admire. Just, I, he's one of my favorite Decepticon body designs. I, I, I love him. I'm like really mil milking this figure, but it's, it's seriously, it's a really nice figure. And it comes with this beautiful, oh man, look at that background. It's beautiful. For the background, I'm actually gonna put the like the armor back on him so that we can just kind of see what he looks like all armored up. And there he is, ladies and gentle bots. Check him out. Looking just spectacular. I, I mean, Shady loves it. Shady's excited right now. Shady, what do you have to say to the people? That's all? That's all you got? Great. Well, there he is. <laughs> um, I put the battle armor back on him just to kind of show more of that since I was milking this this mode more. Um, I do like it. I like more of the battle. I mean, I like how it makes him more, you know, powerful, more robust, more uh, strong. I like how the, you know, the, uh, the, the paint job flows well. You can't even tell that those are additional parts. It flows very well. It looks like it belongs to his uh, uh like his body design so i'm not much complained about that i also see that you can take those extra parts and remove them from him like i did and add it to like i, I guess you know i i don't know if this is like a transportation device that floats uh it looks like it because it looks like these are like uh in, like the back of the engine like the, the the exhaust or something like that but whatever the case it looks absolutely great paint job is amazing, the detail is amazing, I mean the scale is amazing, I mean the the articulation is amazing, I love the accessories is amazing, I, I just, <laughs> I'm not kidding, this is a great figure, um, and there is the back, a better look at the back, you got a bunch of ports, a lot of ports on them, you know, a lot of different things, if you had some extra, uh, some extra firearms, maybe some black, might look good on him, probably not, I don't know, I haven't done it, but, um, I like the way that it came, and it came with the purple, um, armor, and that's great. I love that cable, signature cable to connect, uh, the cannon with the, with his back, and, uh, just all the detail all around. Absolutely spectacular figure. I'm gonna take the armor off, and I'm gonna do something that I don't do in every unboxing, but I'm gonna do it here, and I, that's a comparison, so let's do that. And there he is with all of the gear gone and everything, and I actually have the little uh, transportation device looking battle drone looking thing uh, under him as it is displayed on the packaging there. And there he is, beautiful. I actually really prefer this mode a lot better. Looking absolutely spectacular. And he is fighting Optimus Prime, baby. That's right, check him out with Optimus Prime. This is a just absolute gorgeous display option. Uh, having Siege Voyager class Optimus Prime along with Shockwave. This looks great. I mean, this is just like something that you would see off of like the TV series, you know? I'm actually gonna remove him from his little drone thing. <laughs> Does it say what it is? I don't think it says what it is. Uh, I'm just gonna call it like a, a battle drone, I guess? I'm gonna take him off of that and really show you like the size comparison between him and Prime. And there they are, folks. There they are. There is Shockwave with Siege Optimus Prime Shades. Like, oh my god, I, I ship it. I ship it. <laughs> um, very nice scale. He's basically a Voyager figure with a, you know, with additional parts that makes him leader class. Um, but I mean, if, you can just see like the size. He's a little shorter than Optimus. Optimus is an actual Voyager class, so you get more of a robust model of a version uh, of a Voyager class. This guy is kind of like a Voyager, but really a leader because of you know how he comes. But the scale matches spectacularly and then we're going to go ahead and rotate them around so you can get a view of the back and I actually like Shockwave's back a lot more than Prime's because it's just a lot more it's just it's it's smaller that's about it now I did hear that you can remove this from Prime's back and it makes it look a lot better 
but that's not how it was like intended. I mean, yeah, you can take it off and put it back on. It does make it look better, and I'm probably gonna do that anyway, but uh, it, it just, I mean, that's not how they built it, you know? They built this guy to be more flush, a more compact, better off and they built him with a lot more of like a much larger square back design which i'm not complaining about you don't really see the back you know you really see the front but um and you can also remove it so that's also great but this is just a size comparison between the two he's literally almost the same size as optimus prime both front and back um i'll give you a side view of both of them and this is where you can really see the like the like the height of them both you see Shockwave is like right here and then Prime, his head pe peers over him a little bit as you can see. You can see a little bit over his back. What I like about this figure the most is that you can have Voyager and leader display options with one purchase. That is absolutely spectacular. Shockwave, my friend, you're the bomb. Prime, I love you, you're always the best. You're always gonna be the best. But I mean today, Shockwave, he's gonna get the spotlight. <laughs> Sorry, Prime. He's like, oh. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We are at the end. That's right, baby. Uh, I love Shockwave. Absolutely spectacular figure. He is super amazing and just, I just love him. If you haven't gotten him, I don't know what you're doing with your life. You should probably consider changing it. Um, and just click that link in the description box below, the Amazon link, um, and check him out. Check out the listing. If you want to buy him, go ahead and do that. I am an associate of Amazon, so if you click the link and stuff, you'll be supporting my channel, which I appreciate. Comment down below, what's your favorite Siege figure? Because I'm looking at this guy. I don't know, but he's, I'm looking at him. I haven't unboxed them all, so I really don't know. But honestly, comment below, what is your favorite Siege figure? And uh, I'm not going to see your comments right now. Literally, as we speak, as you watch this video, I'm going to be in the middle of the ocean having a bone voyage on the cruise. I'm kind of doing this video as a placeholder so that you don't really feel like I'm gone <laughs> because I'm recording this before I go on my cruise, but you're gonna see this while I'm on my cruise. So uh, anyways, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And that's all for today. My name is Alfonso and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.